Greetings everyone. Welcome to Medicine Introduction. Today we will talk about Glycerol Trinitrate Overview 1. Glycerol Trinitrate, also known as nitroglycerin, is a medication used to treat angina, chest pain, caused by coronary artery disease. 2. It belongs to the class of drugs called nitrates, which work by relaxing and dilating blood vessels, improving blood flow to the heart. 3. By improving blood flow, glycerol trinitrate helps relieve angina symptoms and reduce the workload on the heart. 4. It is available in various forms, including tablets, sublingual sprays, and transdermal patches. 5. Glycerol trinitrate is a widely used and effective treatment for angina and is commonly prescribed. 6. It can also be used in certain cases to treat acute myocardial infarction, heart attack. 7. The onset of action of glycerol trinitrate varies depending on the administration route, with sublingual forms typically acting quickly. 8. It is important to store glycerol trinitrate properly, as it can lose effectiveness if exposed to heat, light, or air. 9. The dosage of glycerol trinitrate may need to be adjusted based on the individual's response and tolerance. 10. Glycerol trinitrate should be used as directed by a healthcare professional and is often part of a comprehensive treatment plan for managing angina. Indications 1. Glycerol trinitrate is indicated for the relief and prevention of episodes of angina pectoris, including stable and variant angina. 2. Stable angina refers to predictable chest pain triggered by physical exertion or emotional stress, which is alleviated with rest or medication. 3. Variant, Prince metals, angina is caused by coronary artery spasms and can occur at rest, often in the early morning. 4. Glycerol trinitrate can also be used in certain cases of acute myocardial infarction, heart attack, to relieve chest pain and improve blood flow. 5. It is commonly used as a short-acting medication to provide immediate relief during angina episodes. 6. Glycerol trinitrate can be administered sublingually, under the tongue, as a spray, or via intravenous infusion, depending on the situation. 7. The medication helps dilate coronary arteries, increasing blood supply to the heart muscle and reducing the intensity and frequency of angina episodes. 8. It is important to note that glycerol trinitrate is not a cure for angina or heart disease but serves as a symptomatic treatment. 9. The specific indication for using glycerol trinitrate should be determined by a healthcare professional based on the patient's condition and needs. 10. The use of glycerol trinitrate should be part of a comprehensive management plan that may include lifestyle modifications, other medications, and medical interventions. Contraindications 1. Glycerol trinitrate is contraindicated in individuals with a known hypersensitivity or allergy to glycerol trinitrate or other nitrates. 2. It should not be used in patients with severe anemia, as it can further decrease the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood. 3. Individuals with increased intracranial pressure, such as those with head trauma or cerebral hemorrhage, should not use glycerol trinitrate. 4. Concurrent use of certain medications, such as PHOS PHODIESTERAS E5, PDE5, inhibitors like sildenafil or tadalafil, can lead to severe hypotension and is contraindicated. 5. The medication should not be used in patients who have recently taken drugs known as poppers, amyl nitrite or butyl nitrite, as they also contain nitrates. 6. It is important to review the patient's medical history and medications before prescribing or using glycerol trinitrate to identify any potential contraindications. 7. The contraindications serve to prevent potential adverse reactions or interactions that could be harmful to the patient's health. 8. If there is uncertainty regarding the use of glycerol trinitrate, consultation with a healthcare professional is recommended. 9. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should exercise caution and consult with a healthcare professional before using glycerol trinitrate. 10. The contraindications may vary depending on the specific formulation and route of administration of glycerol trinitrate, so it is important to follow the prescribing guidelines and consult a healthcare professional. Precautions 1. 
Patients using glycerol trinitrate should be aware of its potential to cause hypotension, low blood pressure. 2. Caution is advised in patients with hypotension or those taking medications that already lower blood pressure to avoid excessive drops in blood pressure. 3. Patients who are volume depleted or experiencing shock should be closely monitored when using glycerol trinitrate, as it can further lower blood pressure. 4. Headaches are a common side effect of glycerol trinitrate. Patients should be aware of this potential side effect and discuss management strategies with a healthcare professional if needed. 5. Prolonged use of glycerol trinitrate can lead to tolerance, where the medication becomes less effective over time. Dose adjustments or alternative treatments may be necessary in such cases. 6. Patients should avoid sudden discontinuation of glycerol trinitrate to prevent rebound angina. Tapering the dose under medical supervision is typically recommended if the medication needs to be stopped. 7. Glycerol trinitrate may interact with other medications, including PTE5 inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, and other vasodilators. Close monitoring and potential dosage adjustments may be necessary when using these medications concurrently. 8. Patients with a history of recent myocardial infarction, heart failure, or certain heart valve conditions may require special attention and close monitoring when using glycerol trinitrate. 9. It is important to inform healthcare professionals about any pre-existing medical conditions, medications, and allergies before using glycerol trinitrate to ensure safe and effective use. 10. The precautions associated with glycerol trinitrate are meant to maximize its benefits while minimizing potential risks or adverse reactions. Regular monitoring and open communication with healthcare professionals are essential. Dosage 1. The dosage of glycerol trinitrate can vary depending on the specific formulation, tablets, sprays, patches, and the patient's condition. 2. Sublingual tablets or sprays are commonly used for acute relief of angina symptoms. The usual starting dose is 0.3 to 0.4 mg, with subsequent doses as needed at 5-minute intervals, up to a maximum of 3 doses in 15 minutes. 3. If chest pain persists or worsens after 3 doses of sublingual glycerol trinitrate, immediate medical attention should be sought. 4. Transdermal patches are used for long-term maintenance therapy. They are available in different strengths, and the dosage is typically adjusted based on the patient's response. 5. The dosage and administration instructions for glycerol trinitrate should be provided by a healthcare professional and tailored to the individual patient's needs. 6. It is essential to follow the prescribed dosage and not exceed the recommended limits to avoid potential side effects or complications. 7. The onset and duration of action of glycerol trinitrate can vary depending on the administration route, and healthcare professionals can provide specific guidance on timing and frequency of use. 8. If a dose is missed, patients should take it as soon as they remember. However, if it is close to the time for the next scheduled dose, it is generally advisable to skip the missed dose and continue with the regular dosing schedule. 9. The dosage of glycerol trinitrate may need to be adjusted based on individual response, tolerance, and changes in the patient's condition. Regular follow-up with a healthcare professional is important to ensure optimal dosing. 10. It is important to read the medication label and package insert for specific instructions on dosage, administration, and any additional precautions or considerations associated with the specific formulation of glycerol trinitrate. Side Effects 1. Headaches are the most common side effect of glycerol trinitrate, affecting a significant number of patients. These headaches are usually mild to moderate in intensity and often diminish with continued use. 2. Dizziness or lightheadedness can occur due to the medication's ability to lower blood pressure. 3. Flushing, warmth and redness of the skin, may be experienced by some individuals using glycerol trinitrate. 4. Low blood pressure, hypotension, can occur, especially if the medication is used in combination with other blood pressure-lowering medications. 5. Fast heartbeat, tachycardia, may occur as a compensatory response to the drop in blood pressure caused by glycerol trinitrate. 6. Nausea or vomiting can occur, although it is less common. 7. Allergic reactions to glycerol trinitrate 
although rare, can manifest as rash, itching, swelling, or difficulty breathing. Immediate medical attention is necessary if an allergic reaction is suspected. 8. Severe hypotension or fainting episodes may occur in some individuals, especially when standing up quickly or with excessive dosing. 9. Methemoglobinemia, a blood disorder that impairs the ability of red blood cells to carry oxygen, is a rare but serious side effect of glycerol trinitrate. Symptoms may include bluish discoloration of the skin, shortness of breath, and confusion. Immediate medical attention is required if this occurs. 10. Other less common side effects may include blurred vision, restlessness, dry mouth, and sweating. If any unusual or severe side effects are experienced, medical attention should be sought promptly. Please note that the above information is provided for educational purposes only and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult a healthcare professional for personalized guidance on the use of glycerol trinitrate or any medication. If you liked this knowledge please like this video. And subscribe. Thanks for watching.